Hi there. Welcome again to Storytime. Today we're reading Ralph Tells a Story, written by Abby Hanlon, produced, edited, and narrated by yours truly. It's a story about a little boy who just couldn't find an idea for a story. My teacher always said, Stories are everywhere! Yay! Stories! Stories! And the kids in my class were always finding them. Except me! And the dentist forgot to give me a toothbrush. I ran down the hallway with underwear on my head. Then my mom ran so fast that she caught up with the ice cream truck. After that, I decided to hide my Halloween candy in my bed. But every day at writing time, I, I thought really hard. I stared at my paper. I stared at the ceiling, but I could not write a story. Then Grandma gave me a cup of coffee and said, Don't tell your mother. Ah, I have no story. So, I looked for other things to do. I went to the water fountain. I roamed the hallways. Can I go to the bathroom? Again? I tried everything. Can I go help the lunch ladies? What? Well, then one day, after getting sent back to my desk, I begged Daisy for help. So I can't write a story because nothing happens to me. Are you kidding? I've written tons of stories about you. She began pulling her stories out of her desk. Look at this one. Remember the time you let me brush your hair? And this one! Remember the time you knocked down all the crayons? Oh, and remember the time you painted your nails with black marker? I thought I'll never be a great writer like Daisy. Then Daisy stapled all of her stories together. This book is already 13 pages. Can I use a stapler? I was really good at stapling. But you have nothing to staple. You have to find a story first. Just look around. So, I look for stories out the window, in the aquarium, in my desk. Why do you have socks in your desk? And when the teacher wasn't looking, I looked for stories on the floor. But still, no stories. Look, my next part. That's my favorite part. Lying under my desk reminded me of lying in the grass at the park. I closed my eyes and imagined that I was at the park. Just like that time, a little inchworm crawled on my knee. The sun was shining right into my eyes. Squinting, I picked up the wiggly inchworm and looked at it close up. And that's when my teacher found me. What's your story about? Uh, um, uh, um, I saw an inchworm. 
Wonderful. I can't wait to read what you wrote. But there really was no inchworm story. I sat down and tried to write about the inchworm, but right away I got stuck. Do you know any inchworm stories? I asked Daisy. But she just rolled her eyes and kept on writing. And then my teacher said, Writers, come to the rug. It's time to share. Oh, no. Ralph, why don't you go first? I, I, I pretended that I lost my paper, but it didn't work. He's sitting on it. I walk to the front of the rug. It took a long time. I held my paper against my chest so no one could see it. Uh, I was at the park, I said. An inchworm crawled on my knee. It was very quiet. My heart started to beat. And, and that's when I looked at Daisy. Wow, really? Did it feel squishy, Ralphie? Did you take it home? And then everybody started to ask me questions. Did your mom let you keep it? Did you touch it? Was it a baby? Was it a girl? Did it tickle? Did you name it? Wait a minute, I thought. Something did happen with that inchworm. Well, I picked up the inchworm and decided to name him Nick. I built Nick a house, but he just inched away. So I followed him. Which is why I didn't notice that somebody was following me. And then, all of a sudden, this wobbly, crazy baby grabbed Nick and put it in his diaper. I tried to be calm. Come on, baby, I said really nicely. Give Ralphie the inchworm. It didn't work. Was this the end of Nick? But then I noticed Nick was escaping. He crawled right up the baby's stomach. Quickly, I rescued Nick and ran. And we spent the rest of the afternoon doing nothing together. The end. Then, then everybody clapped and cheered. Show the picture, Ralph. I wasn't embarrassed anymore, so I did. And that was last year. This year, I write stories all the time. I keep finding stories everywhere. Said, mm, this book might be too thick to staple. Get comfortable. It's okay to ask for help. You can always write about what you had for breakfast, but important, eat lots of chocolate. The End <laughs> Thanks for reading with us today. We'll read again next time.